What's up, cousins? It's your girl, Angela. I'm back, honey. Got another recipe, honey. And you know what, honey? I need a good snack tonight, honey. And it's just in time for the holidays anyway, so let's get to it. And even if it wasn't the holidays, guess what? We still gonna cook. We still gonna make some snacks, right? Okay, cool beans. So listen, honey. I got my bowl over here, child. I thought I had to put it on the counter. Y'all got to work with Cousin Angie for a minute, honey. Listen, listen, listen. So what we're going to do tonight, right, is we're going to do us a cake mix box hack. You know how I always teach you guys how to do a, a cake mix box hack, honey? We're not trying to talk to Duncan Hines. Isn't that y'all name? Yeah, Duncan Hines. We ain't trying to talk to them tonight and do whatever the hell they told us to do on the box. I don't try to told y'all. Go over there on my page and look at all my cakes, how I teach you guys how to do the little trick. Now, I don't know what Duncan and Hines don't told y'all to do. Cousin Angie don't do what they tell me to do. So I want my cousins to follow Cousin Angie. You hear me for the one time. So listen, sugar, y'all come on over here. I got everything set up for us. We ready to go. I got my oven on 335. And you know the reason why the box calls for 350 degrees? You know, I don't do 350 degrees. I do 335 degrees. Why? Because I use Caffalon dishes, Circulon dishes. And when you using expensive dishes and you're putting it on a high temperature, you still, I don't care if you have the nonstick spray or whatever you're using, Baker's Joy or whatever is on sale, you still going to burn the bottom of them pans. And I ain't trying to mess up my stuff. So it works well for me. I put always bake my cakes on 335 until they come out nice and clean. And these are the pans that I'm using. They're really, really heavy. They're champagne in color. And um, if anyone's interested, I could put a link at the bottom of the video. And um, just let me know if anyone is interested. And I can show you guys up close and personal. These pans are very, very heavy. And yes, honey, I don't, I don't, you know, take my pans and put them up, you know, and throw away the plastic. No, when I finish washing all my good stuff by hand, I get a nice kitchen towel. I dry them instantly. Then after I've dried them really thorough with a clean dish towel, I leave them on top of my stove for about 15, 20 minutes and continue to let them air dry out. And then I put them back in this original packaging because, like I said, you spend good money on good quality things. You want your good quality things to last. And I'm going to say another thing to you, too. You know, when we all out here buying, you know, we say we need new cookware sets and bakingware sets and things like that. As I just ordered some more bakingware sets yesterday. Um, what we have to do is this here. You have to protect those. So what you do, honey, is you're going around the corner to our little cousin named Dollar and Tree. Okay? Now, in case you know who Dollar and Tree was, little cousin on the corner named the Dollar Tree store. Okay? And that's cousin, we ain't going to call her name. But anyway, cousin Dollar Tree. That's auntie, I ain't going to call her name, but that's auntie daughter. Okay? So we're going to go Dollar Tree store on the corner. And Betty Crocker got the cooking utensils over there for a dollar, honey. She got the measuring cups, honey. She got the spoon. She got the spatulas. Betty and Cracker ain't over there at the Walmart. They down at the Dollar Tree too, okay? So while you at the Dollar at the Walmart spending about twelve ninety nine for Betty and Cracker, Betty and Cracker down there at the Dollar Tree. You ain't had to hear from me. Go to your local Dollar Tree and tell them Cousin Angie sent you, and tell them to go on to my YouTube page. Listen, honey, these are the pans, champagne in color. These are Cuisinart. And these are the ones we're using tonight, you know. So we're using two 9-inch pans, and we're going to make us a double chocolate fudge cake. And we're going to have homemade chocolate fudge ice. And honey, Cousin Angie got y'all. I don't know why y'all playing. I'm going to sit my pans back over here till we're ready for them. Okay? So that's what we're doing. Now listen, let me go on and show y'all the ingredients. Because I'm not trying to play with y'all, honey. I'm trying to go and get these cakes out the way so we can eat. Because we is hungry though this way. Mm -hmm, tried to told you. So listen, Cousin Angie, bring y'all on over here. Let me turn the camera so we can get y'all to see exactly what I'm doing. Where that? Here you go. There it is, baby. Oh, my foot in the way. Look, I think I broke my wrist. So I'm trying to be careful using my wrist. I think I broke my wrist. So I got to go to urgent care. So I'm trying to be careful. Oh, it hurts to use my hand. And I really think I broke my wrist. But um, I got to go to urgent care. My husband said to get it checked out. So listen, honey, we got four large eggs. We got us two thirds cups of melted butter and this is salted butter. I got one full cup of buttermilk. Of course your non-stick spray. You can use Baker's Joy or whatever's on sale at your local store. Don't go out here trying to get rich quick, honey. We ain't got the kind of money. Use whatever's on sale. If your food stamps can afford it, get what your food stamps told you to go buy. If your pocketbook can afford it, go get what your pocketbook told you. Because Angie ain't told y'all to go out here and get broke, honey. Go get your money down there, whatever on sale. This was $1.69. It was on sale to me. 
Hey, that's what I want and got, okay? Now, if something else said four ninety nine. dollars I left her sitting over there on the counter with Cousin. I ain't trying to call her name. But anyway, listen, we got a box of Jell-O Instant Chocolate. Uh, what is this, Cook and Serve? We got us a box. And this here, baby, is a five-ounce box, okay? Listen, I got this. Y'all need to mind your business. Our Hershey Cocoa Honey, and we'll get to that in a little while. We're going to use this when it's time to make our homemade chocolate fudge icing like Grandma and Mama did. Okay, cool. Then, listen... We got our tablespoon. Now, I'm a vanilla girl. The reason why you see two boxes over here, because I only got a tiny bit in here. I mean, it is a tiny bit, for real. And then it's not even a corner. So, anyway, since that's just a corner, we got McCormick, our auntie over here. We got the full box, so we got our measuring spoon. And what else we got? Oh, yeah, Duncan and Hines, who wants to follow her recipe. We ain't trying to talk to her. She don't told y'all what to use. Now, if y'all decide to go and do what she told you, don't come back and tell me your cake ain't taking good. I'm not saying it don't taste good using a regular recipe. I'm just saying if you want your cake to taste moist, it tastes like you're coming from the bakery, and it's nice and fluffy, honey, you better go on to do what Cousin Angie don't told y'all to do. Stop playing with me. I ain't come over here to play with y'all. I'm coming over here to try to help the cousins. Now, listen, we're going to get to the good time, and we're going to go ahead and get this cake jumping. Now, listen, when I make this cake, I want y'all to make it too. I want y'all to come back. Lord, look at the camera. She don't decide she's going to stay down a little bit. I'm trying to get her up. Listen, baby. When you make this cake, honey, I want you to come back and tell me what the guests don't told you about the cake and the icing, okay? And um, I ain't trying to play with y'all. So anyway, it's nice talking to y'all, cousin Angie. Love y'all. Like I said, we got to make snacks. So let's get to the party. All right. Now, make sure you wash your hands when you're coming in the kitchen because you can't come over to my house unless you wash your hands. I'm just trying to tell you. Okay, cool. All right. Now, you know, I love y'all and everything like that, but listen. I'm trying to go and eat so I can throw me on a little bit. I'll be sure and be editing these videos. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Listen, all right? I'm trying to play with y'all for the one time. All right, listen. Now, this damn thing don't want to see if it's going to be stationary or not. But anyway, whatever. So, listen, we got our bowl. I'm going to put me a little napkin down here under it just in case we have a little spillage or something. I ain't trying to be clumsy. So, we're going to put us a little napkin down there for the one time. Always keep you a good garbage bag, a clean garbage bag. You go to Kroger's, wherever you shop at, ask them for some plastic bags that you can use for little trash cans around the house or whatever. And whenever you cook, and always get you a clean trash bag so that you can throw your trash, you know, away in there. And then when you finish doing all your cooking and cleaning up, you can throw your trash out to the dumpster. All right, all right, all right. Let's get to the good time. So we're going to start with our four large eggs. Y'all see our four large eggs? Are they pretty? Whatever. Let's get to the good part. All right, I'm going to put her over here. Because she got to go to the dishwasher in a little while, okay? So then we got our two-thirds cups of milk. I got to make sure I got all my money out of there. So y'all hold on for a minute. I got to make sure everybody came out. Everybody. Hold on. I got to go over there and get my spoon off the stove where I had to get the butter out the pack. Hold on. I got to go over here. I need everybody. All my, all my milk. I need all of them. Don't y'all throw y'all money away. Get all your money's worth out of there. And somebody left me a video, left me a message, and told me, say, Cousin Angie, just tell us to go and get our money's worth. Yeah, go ahead and get your money's worth out that cup. I know you said, well, Cousin Angie, you poured it. Yeah, that's nice, baby. I still got to get my money's worth because, you know, that was a stick of butter. You know, butter was kind of costly. It was like three forty nine, dollars so I'm going to need all my three forty nine dollars up out of there. Matter of fact, let me hold on to the spoon because we're going to go ahead and empty this one cup of buttermilk in there, too. So, yeah, we're going to do like that there, like my Uncle Charles said, that there. So, go on and get your spoon ready because I need all my buttermilk out of there. Okay? Mm-hmm. See there? Cousin Angie trying to tell y'all what to do. Mm-hmm. you all so eager to throw them cups in the sink. I know I'm trying to get the money. Get all your money's worth. See, I'm still finding some more milk in there. Just a little drop. That's fine with me. Okay, got a little bit more over there in the corner. Okay, I got it. All right, good there. All right, now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to whip these people on up, okay? So let me go ahead and whip my friends on up for the one time, all right? Buttermilk smell good. Now, listen, let me tell you something. The reason why we're using buttermilk, you can also, you have an option to use uh whole milk okay and for those of you who don't drink whole milk you use whatever milk you have but the reason why we're using buttermilk and four large eggs is because i mean excuse me buttermilk and the two-thirds cups of uh, melted butter is because it contains more fat more fat more richer the cake okay that's why we're doing that
hurts me to use my hand. I think I broke my wrist and it's in excruciating pain, so I'm trying to be careful. Okay, and another thing I want to say is even if you have the two-thirds cups of melted um, salted butter, you still could use um, one cup of whole milk. You still, because now you've still got the two fats going on hand to hand. It makes the cake richer, much lighter, and fluffier, and moist. Okay, so that's what you want to do. Either whole milk, one cup of whole milk, or it's one cup of buttermilk. Either one of those, but make sure you use that two-thirds cup of melted butter, okay? Next, I'm going to go ahead and open up Cousin Jello. okay? Now, she's from Alabama, <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to go and get Cousin Jello. I'm just going to bring out the taste in that chocolate, honey. Make sure you get your money out that corner, honey, because, you know, sometimes, you know, we have a little bit of chocolate up there in the corner. When you open the pack up, a little bit of chocolate come falling out. I need all my chocolate to fall in the bowl. You know, that chocolate smells so good. You know what I saw in the store, and I've done this before too. They had the Hershey's um, Jello mix, the Hershey, like the Hershey candy. Oh my God, I used that in the chocolate fudge cake. Child, what you talking about, child? I'm trying to make sure I got all my co my chocolate out of here, baby. I don't see no more, so I guess it's safe to throw her in the trash now. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in my little waste basket can over here. I like to break down the boxes because you know less space in the trash. I got my kids hooked on doing that now. Even when I go to the commissary on base and shop and I come back home or if I'm running to the Myers or the Kroger's, wherever, I come home and I'm putting up stuff that's in boxes. Um, even like if I open butter out of the box in the refrigerator for my baking, I take the butter out of the boxes and put the sticks on the refrigerator door, you know. Let's take up all that space in there with all them boxes. Now listen, we got Duncan down at the Heinz factory. Now listen, I'm going to get them KitchenAid shears. They're real sharp. You can go to Target and get them. Tell Target I sent you. I know my nails isn't done, but we're going to get this cake done. That's all right. I'm trying to make sure I got all that chocolate out the corner. Okay, so now these bad boys are sharp. Oh, my hand hurt. Okay, so now we're going to empty this over here for the one time. Mm -mm, that smells so good. This is going to be a number one hitter on your table this holiday. All right. So we're going to go ahead and mix these up. And I'm going to break down this bowl. Now, one thing I did want to tell you about, it says that if you have um, two 9-inch pans, you cook it for 24 to 29 minutes. So that's the same amount of time I'm going to cook mine, even if my stove is on 335. But, of course, we will check it. You know, you stick a toothpick in it, see if it comes out clean. If it, if it does, you're good. Um, if, it's, if it doesn't come out clean, then, of course, you know we got to put it back in there and let it cook for a few more, long, for a few more minutes longer. I'm sorry, I can't even get my words out. All right, so listen, let's just go ahead and mix it on up for the one time. And I have my mixer on low. But I'm not in a rush. First, to use my hand. I'm really in a lot of pain. I said I have a tablespoon here. I love vanilla, so I'm sorry everybody, like I'm in a lot of pain and it feels like my hand has been pulled down this way and it's an excruciating pain and I really think I broke my, my wrist, I'm not sure, but I'm in a lot of pain so I'm trying to do the best I can and it hurts to bend my hand back or do anything. Okay, so we're going to see what's in this bottle. Wow, it wasn't even but a tiny drip. I'm trying to make sure I got all my money out, see if any more drips going to come out. Well, I guess we got the money and drip ain't coming out. There's not one drip. Drip don't go. This is all we have in here. So hold on, because, uh, Lord Jesus, we don't lost all the drips. 
But that's good. That means you got your money's worth. You can tell how often I bake. I bake a lot. All right, so we'll just go on down here and use our vanilla by McCormick's. Let me remove the sealant. It is something about vanilla. It hit just right. I know you say, Cousin Angie, that's too much. No, it ain't. I got one tablespoon of vanilla. Honey, do we have to set this party off? I don't know what y'all come over here to do. I'm trying to get all my money out of here. She gone. Okay, cool. All right. So now I'm going to put vanilla back in here. All right. So now we're going to finish mixing. We're going to learn today. All right, cousins, look, I don't have a little drip here, a little drip there. Child, we get it cleaned up with some hot water and just Dawn detergent. All right, so listen, next up, what we're going to do is Cousin Angie going to remove some of this stuff. Um, and then I'm going to come back with our cake pans, and we're going to go ahead and get them nice and sprayed up, and you're ready to go in the oven. So I'll be right back. Okay, cousins, so I'm back. So now let me go and get my cake spatula i'll be right back all right cousin so we back cousin angie got a cake spatula so the first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and get our non-stick spray now listen i love baker's joy and i use baker's joy but like i told you earlier whatever's on sale honey you go over there and get it don't go over there and get them cousins cost $3.99 and $4.97 they made your cousins because they're not on sale you go get the baker's joy which is my favorite or you get whatever's on on sale in your local grocery store okay um, so come on, let's spray our pans and get our, our cake in this oven. What do you think that? All right, listen, come on, let's get to the party. Now we're going to have a regular party until this cake come out of this oven, okay? So what we want to do, of course, make sure your pans are nice and clean. And you're going to shake it up, 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 shake it up. Always store your stuff in a nice place. Nice, cool place, okay? So now I'm going to spray this. All around the middle, all on the side. It hurts to really use my hand. It's all over here. It's all over here. And it hurts to bend it back. You feel it all over here. But it feels like my hand is like being pulled down and it hurts so bad. So you all forgive me, please. I'm really doing my best on camera. I'm determined to get this cake in. All right. Fine. All right. Remember, keep a little trash can near you, okay? All right, listen. We're going to go ahead and start scraping around the side. Make sure we have them both even out. Pans are even. Chocolate smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. Child, come on with the chocolate, Jesus. I'm a chocolate lover. All right, go ahead and get your money out the bowl, honey, because we're not washing it until we got all our chocolate out. I got to have all my chocolate, okay? I'm going to do my best to get all the chocolate out I can. Cousin Angie can't get it out, honey. She just can't get it out because her hand is hurting. But I'm trying. Look at there. This pain going to help me get this chocolate out of here. You hear me? If you hear a noise in the background, that is my stove fan. Whenever I'm cooking or baking, I always put my fan on 
high sometimes to get all this heat out the kitchen but tonight I have it on low so just in case you hear that that is what that is all right I think we can say we did our best tonight right Get that little bit right there too, cousin Angie, because she gotta get all that. All right, y'all, I did my best. All right, so let me put this over here in the sink. Now, I wanna kind of shake it, drop it down a few times, get the air pockets out of it. And do the same with the other one. Kind of shake it. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. Sorry about the noise. All right, I think we did good. You want there? Ready to go in the oven, cousins? All right. So, as I've stated, my oven is on 335. I'm going to put this in there for about mm, whatever the box called for, about 28, 29 minutes. What did the box say, child? Or until it comes out um, done. So it's telling us two nine inch for 24 to 29 minutes. So that's how long they'll be in there or until they get nice and done. Okay. All right. Cousin Angie, be back in a little bit. All right, cousins. Our cake is done and out of the oven. So um, I've already got one off and put it on the cake stand. So I'm going to pull the other one out here. All right. Here's the second cake. All right. One thing I wanted to share when baking, my mom and grandma always would say, is when you're baking, be careful not to let people slam any doors to the refrigerator, to the cabinets, um, open and close and, oh, let me see if the cake is done, and slamming the oven door, honey, will make your cake fall, okay? We ain't trying to have all that, all right? So listen, we're going to let these cakes cool, and we're going to give it about 25 minutes or so, um, and then as soon as they're nice and cooled down, I'll come back, we'll go to the next step. All right, cousins, so our cake is done. Um, we're going to go ahead and ice our cake. And what I've done is made some homemade chocolate fudge icing on top of the stove. Um, reminds me of the way my grandmother used to do it and my mother used to do it. They had their different versions of how they made it on top of the stove. They didn't always use whole milk. Um, I've never made it the way they've always made it. Um, they, like I said, they different. They do it differently. I've only done it one way, so I haven't cooked it the way they used to. So I'm quite sure my mother would be happy to know how I've made this. Um, she's seen me make it before in previous videos, but I did a video just to show you all how to make homemade chocolate fudge icing, and that video will be coming up. It'll be when this cake post. The video will be coming up right below that one. Okay, so tonight's video was to show you how to take a Duncan Hines cake mix and turn it into a hack as to show you how to make it taste homemade okay then I did a second video to show you how to make homemade chocolate fudge icing on top of the stove so look out for that video be sure to share my recipes please share my page leave me a message I love to hear from you if you have any questions or any concerns please leave me a message and I will respond to you within a timely manner, okay? So listen, I have my cake plate out here, honey. It's nice and clean, okay? Um, you know, I'm the Reynolds Wrap girl, so we're going to put, as I always do, I put a piece of Reynolds Wrap foil, non-stick, heavy duty. You know, I'm the Reynolds girl. And so I like to put a piece on the end of my cake plate. And um, that way, when the icing is dripping, you know, it's on the foil. Or... I've always done it where you could take a um, plate and put it inside your cake pan too as well. Um, so yeah. All right. And thank you all for supporting me, supporting my page, leaving me. I, I get a lot of negative comments from different people, but you know what? This world doesn't belong to me or you or anyone else. You know, none of us are perfect. And it just makes me stronger when I see your negative comments, okay? So, you know, it just makes me go keep pushing, if, if that's the way to say it, all right? So, for those of you who leave, leave me great reviews, thank you. Not everyone is going to like what you do, and that's okay. We're all entitled to our own opinions, you know? 
So I appreciate you all either way, whether it's positive or negative. I appreciate you all. All right, so I'm just fixing the foil where I can close the cake pan and be able to close it tightly. So I'm just kind of tightening up the foil. So let me get my chocolate fudge icing off the stove. I position my foil how I need it to be. So when it's time to close up the cake pan, um, you know, we can close it up. All right. So let me show you all what I've done. Let me get my camera. All right. Let me position this camera. All right. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to take our cake. And it's been cooling off here for the last 30 minutes. All right. Remember, don't take your expensive stuff and put it in no soapy water and leave it sitting in there and your stuff gonna rust out. You're gonna have no expensive dishes. All right, got my homemade chocolate fudge icing. Yes, Lord, we doing that there. All right, we doing that. All right, that's it for the one time. Let me step out and get that picture. All right, cousin. So now that it's time for us to, um, uh oh, now that it's time for us to ice our cake. Let me reposition this a little bit better. All right, cousins, let me position this camera downward so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, let me position it. Perfect. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My camera kind of got out of place. All right, so now what I'm going to do is pull the hot cocoa over here, hot chocolate fudge icing. And so then I have my nice clean Yado spoon. And so what I want to do here is just kind of Drizzle it all along the sides like this. Mmm, smells so good, honey. And it tastes so sweet, too. All right. That's all you got to do, honey. It all come together. It all come together. All right. You have to be quick with it because ice and wheel harden. You know. All right, honey. Yes, Lord. Cousin Angie did that, baby. this over here. I'm sorry. Moving too fast for myself. And you can find one of these spoons at the Dollar Tree, honey. I'm telling you, it works well with your icings and anything else you're using in the kitchen that you're cooking. Gravy or whatever you're doing. Mmm. So I'm going to step to the side, put this back over here. All right. Let me get that napkin I had to wipe my hands on and get this icing up. I want you all to let me know what you think about this cake. Look at there, it's nicely icing all the way around. Let me know what you think about this recipe. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. If you make this cake, please come back. I'd love to hear from you. I really would. Come back and tell Cousin Angie all about it, honey. Yes, Lord. Woo, the ice of hot sugar for the one time. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Cousin Angie did that, honey. Sorry about that. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Let Cousin Angie know what you think about it. And um, I just know you're going to love it. I know your loved ones, your friends. I know everyone's going to love it. Honey, it's going to taste good. You're going to enjoy it. <laughs> and you'll probably be making this a lot. I'm quite sure you will. All right. Thank you. Listen, as I always say, love on one another.
Sometimes you have to let bygones be bygones, honey. It takes two people to argue. As my grandmother my mother would say, honey, and if you ain't the person that's arguing with the other person, honey, let them be the dummy and argue by themselves. You just keep pushing and stay positive, okay? But no matter what's going on in the world, pick up the phone and call somebody and tell them you love them. Pick up the phone and call someone to see how they're doing and tell them you love them. Have a good night. I love you all. Bye.